what are the core components of HTTP response? An HTTP response is sent by the server to the client after receiving and interpreting a request. The response contains several key components that communicate the result of the request to the client. Let's talk about some core components. Today, I guess we will talk mainly about four main components. Let's start by the first. Will be the status line. First, we want to talk about the HTTP, the HTTP version. This one specifies the HTTP version. For example, H, um, for example, HTTP. Uh, uh, no, no, sorry. HTTP uh, uh, slash one point one, or uh, HTTP slash uh, two point zero. Number two. Status code. A three-digit number that indicates the outcome of the request. This code is very informative and tells the client whether the request was successful, redirected, resulted in an error, etc. Um, number three, reason. Phrase. This one is a brief human readable phrase describing the status code. For example, we have 200 uh, OK or 404, which is not found, and 500, which is internal server error. In HTTP uh, slash 2, the reason phrase is no longer included. It's uh, deemed uh, as as it's deemed unnecessary. Um, number two, they want to talk about which is the headers. The first thing that I want to talk about in terms of headers, just make a list. The response headers. These provide additional information about the server and the response. Common headers include um, the content type. Let's just put here for you guys to see it. The content type, which describes the data type of the response body. We have the content um, length as well. And this one, the size of the response body in bytes. And we have the, the the cache control, which infrastructure it's in, in instructions for caching response. Cache control. Just put the C in the beginning. Uh, number three, gen, uh, uh, general header. Uh, these apply to both request and response, such as, uh, for example, the um, Date and the date at the, at the uh, and time the message was sent. We have also a connection. Um, it's options for the connection. We have yeah, that's basically it. Number three, we have entity header. This one is related to the content content of the message body, like uh, the last modified. Let me just, because I don't want to write it all. The last modified, and this one is the date and the time the resource was last modified. Number three, we want to talk about the empty lines. This one, um, this blank line in, indicates um, the end of the headers section uh, and uh, the beginning of the body section. You will find all the time an empty line between between the headers and the body. And um, this, 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 yeah, this it's uh, it's content. Um, we have the body and it's optional, and um, we have. A content of each body and the body, the, the actual data being sent 
in the response. Um, this um, this could be HTML content, an image, JSON data, or plain text, depending on what was requested for all responses. Okay, so for all responses. So basically not all responses here will have a body. For example, responses to head requests or responses with 204, no, no uh, 204, no content status could do not include a body, for example. And this one is only for the um, requests that will put or, 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 or post something. Um, so understanding these components is crucial for web development and troubleshooting communication between clients and server. It helps in freezing and handling response correctly based, uh, based on their content and metadata provided by headers. Um, so um, let's let, let just see this again. We have we talked about the uh, HTTP version. We talked about the, the the headers. We talked about the body. We need to talk about the verb. Just one. It's indicate um, the verb. This one indicates the HTTP met uh, method, such as uh, get, post, put delete etc we want also talk about the uri i guess talking about the empty line is not as important like you can just ignore it if you want but just for you to know we have the uri which is the uniform rules uh, resource identifier basically this one is to identify the resource on the server so yeah that's it for this video and see you in future videos